it was a moment some years ago when I built my house and that was a wow moment for me because I discovered something that was really going to be my passion and it was Feng Shui. It's an old Chinese art but so applicable to nowadays. Once I discovered, I said, wow, this is really great. I have to learn about it and even more, I have to share it with other people because it's such a strong information which is available so everybody needs to know. Starting from here, I said, okay, how should I put this in practice? So um, I started to build a blog and I started to write about Feng Shui in a very simple language because I realized that it is difficult for other people to understand. I wrote it very simple and the more I put uh, my feelings and my experience with Feng Shui around it. I wrote continuously like six months and uh, because I wanted to look nice, I wanted to be rich in information and I wanted to be something really interesting when you enter. I made it live expecting that, uh, well, I'm going to start also have some clients around it and be able to practice. What happened? It was quite a nice success, a lot of comments, a lot of interaction, a lot of questions, but a lot of time for me to explain to every single client that was writing to me, because I was encouraging them to okay, write. Uh, it was a, long, uh, a big effort for me to explain to each, of each and single one of them what it is about, what it consists in, what they have to do about it, and finally maybe to work and, or not work with me. Thinking how to make this more efficient and how to save my time because I was uh, coming with a long marketing experience. I was working uh, more than 17 years in uh, marketing, having both local and inter international experience. I was doing it in my free time. So my free time was almost gone with this. And of, of course it looks like not a feasible way to keep going. Um, one day, zapping on uh, Facebook and asking myself what should I do next, I saw a presentation, an ad for an event, where Ozana was uh, very straightforward touching one of my needs, how to be more efficient in online. I said, okay, let's go, let's see what it is all about. And uh, I discovered a very nice thing that uh, Information wasn't new for me because I was aware about that, but the way it was put, it was very simple and very straightforward. It was a process from the beginning to the end, focused on the consumer journey, on the customer journey. It was a sales funnel. I was reading about that, but when handling your own idea and your own passion, you have so many things and so many ideas and it's very easy to get lost and not to be able to focus. After listening to Ozana for a few hours, I think it was, it was a half a day event, I was writing everything down and uh, taking a lot of notes, I really understood what she was about and decided, okay, I'm going on with her. I uh, registered myself to one of her boot camps, to the uh, SOS bootcamp talking about how to build your sales funnel, but I think my ego inside of me said, uh, look, I know this information, now it's more clear to me, thank you very much Osana, I'm going to try it out myself. So I went back, I started to put things together, the way she mentioned, the way she was showing us, what helped me in this phase, what that she was giving before the event, a lot of things for free, like download, downloadable files and uh, checklists and uh, steps that you have to do to build this sales funnel. So I took all this plus my experience and I started to put it all together. I made it live. It was very nice in the first part of the funnel that I was uh, actually collecting a lot of uh, people, a lot of people were coming and entering the sales funnel, downloading my materials, but it was a point where everything was stopping. It didn't convert. So uh, it was a moment when I said, whoa, something is wrong. So let's go back. When I realized that things are not that easy because there are a lot of details behind, starting from technical details, which I managed to figure out myself, no problem, but a lot of other details, how you say it, how you put it, where you focus on, um, 
I said, okay, I need more help. Meanwhile, Ozana was uh, organizing other events. I was following her because I really liked what she was saying. And I decided, okay, let's listen to the first impulse and go to the boot camp. I took my two days off, went to the boot camp, and um, here it was uh, the outcome was very interesting because, first of all, I managed to put everything in order. I managed to have the recipe. I managed to have the flow. I obtained from her feedback to what I was already doing and all the pieces was much, were much easier to be put together. But also there were two days when I really focused on this because otherwise maybe it would take me weeks and uh, working in the evening or working on weekends would take a lot, a lot of time to put all this together and to make it work. Now I was much happier. Everything seems to look good. After the bootcamp I had everything in order. All I had to do is just to implement. I did that immediately after the bootcamp. Uh, the sales funnel was working much better, but again, not until the end. It was a moment when things were stopping, where uh, my potential clients were, who entered in the funnel didn't go to the end. So, frankly speaking, it didn't convert. I went back to Ozana. Ozana, something is wrong. This is not converting. She said, okay, let, let me see. She started to read, this is good, 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 and at a certain moment she got lost in what I was doing. I thought it's very clear, but apparently it wasn't. And uh, there were two things coming out of here. Uh, we realized together that it was a lot, a lot of information that was not leading anywhere, and the focus was not right. Even if in the first pages and the first part of the bootcamp, we were talking about the client and the client uh, journey and uh, how to focus on uh, the client needs and the client problems, I was still focusing on information, on giving information related to what I thought it's relevant, what I thought it's important. So one thing was to change the point of view and to make it more clear and addressed only to what the other and what the client needs and wants. And second, to be more straightforward in my intention, my final intention of really getting the client to work with me. This was a big help because I was trying to avoid this. Having my passion and this being my passion, I had hard times understanding and accepting that I have to sell it. Actually, I don't even have to sell it. I just have to put the client or the customer in the position of wanting what I, why I have to give, not actually selling. So making the bridge between these two parts was very important. What I was doing wrong were, were two things. I was putting too much information so I couldn't deliver a, a trip, a customer trip, or putting the sales up front so the client didn't have any steps in between to, to, do, to do the journey. Putting this all together, my sales funnel started to convert. So I started to have my first real clients. Very happy that they knew me through the steps that I did before and very happy to work with me. Okay, checked. I made this work at a small scale because this was my time available to, to handle the client afterwards. But the challenge was not enough for me. I did this, now what? What's next? And um, how to make it more efficient? Actually, this was my, my main thought. And Ozana was uh, presenting to us and, uh, and showing her next bootcamp about uh, 10x sales, sales from stage, Send sales one to many. Wow, that sounded like the right thing to do now because I could sell to one, now let's sell to many. Why not? Why not try this out? I went this time straight to the bootcamp because I knew from my previous experience that alone it's very difficult to do it. I went there and uh, it was a very strong experience, both at personal level, but also at professional level, because now it helps me even in my job, my daily job. 
it's a very big difference between presenting something, which I did it so many times to my colleagues or to the board of directors or to the foreign investors or to any people that were, were coming into the company. I was the one presenting that, uh, all kind of information. And it's a very big difference between presenting and really selling on the spot. So having 50 or 100 people in front of you and uh, making them want to work with you on the spot and also act into this direction. This was a big breakthrough for me, I have to admit. And uh, it was very difficult to do it first time. It was sweat and uh, pain in the stomach for my first presentation, but I said, okay, I have to do it. Nobody's going to eat me, nothing wrong can happen, so let the fear away and just do it. The big surprise was that uh, I managed. Actually, it was not that difficult. This time I really followed the recipe. I built my presentation uh, following what I learned in the uh, boot camp, and then I delivered it just like that. And it worked. I had cells. I think it was six or seven cells on the spot, which was absolutely great because this was done in one hour and a half presentation, where compared to my previous way of doing things, it would take me most probably a few afternoon to talk to each of and each and single client about that. So now, now I was in step two. I had a sales funnel for single clients and I had the system of selling from stage, selling one to many. The good thing and great thing for me was actually that I was able to put these two things together. I was preparing my future customer before the event, I was selling at the event and I was also selling after the event to those who participated and even to those who didn't manage to participate. And so the system really became also profitable. Now it was not only uh, some clients here and there, it was something predictable. It was a system that I had numbers for it and I can say that out of 100 uh, leads that come to my funnel, there is a certain per percentage that are going to go forward, there is another percentage that are going to come to event, and there, there is a certain percentage of sales. So it made it predictable. Second, it made it profitable because it would combine the two things together. And uh, I can say that nowadays I can reach like uh, 30,000 euro income per year. It's not, I don't know if it is high or if it is low, but it is something that I made it myself in my spare time. At least it covers the vacations. So I'm really, really happy and uh, contented about this, that I managed to put things in order and really to function. Now I can say I, can say I have a small machine that uh, one day, if I want to push it, and to make it faster, I can do it just like that. As I said, it was a process and uh, through the process, I needed support. There were many times when I didn't know if I'm saying the right things or if my sentences are convincing enough. So I always had a support. Ozana has a community uh, where uh, the, the, the people that participated to the boot camps are in and uh, we have her advice, her personal advice to every single issue that we have and we put there, but we also have the advice that we give to each other. And it was nice for me because people not knowing about Feng Shui, but knowing the system were able to give me feedback. And this was very, very constructive. Every time, even if it was negative, and even more when it was negative, because I realized, oh, this guy is not understanding, so something is not clear. And I could go back and really check all the steps that I was doing. I have to say a little secret. I even copied from Ozana. Not copy word by word because it's something different. But sometimes when I didn't have enough clarity or I didn't have ideas, I was just opening one of her pages, of her sales pages, and looking at the structure. Looking at the ideas she was putting there and looking how she was delivering the message. And this was nice inspiration for me. When I hear friends around me just complaining that, look, I have so many ideas and I, know, I don't know what to do with it and I would like to make uh, some money out of this or some money out of that, I always tell them, 
go to Ozana, listen what she has to say, and then you come back and we can talk about it. So for me, it's like go to Ozana, it's the first step that you have to do before drawing any conclusion, you can or you cannot do this, it's a good or a bad idea, and so on. Just go, listen what she has to say, and then you can decide for yourself how to move on from here. I still follow Ozana. I go to her events even if it is a presentation. As I mentioned, sometimes I go just to steal some ideas, to see what she's doing, what else she's doing. Is she, did she bring something new in her presentation? What flow is she following? What works best for her? Because if it works best for her, most probably can work good for me. So I can adapt a lot of ideas that are, I see there and uh, seeing her enthusiasm and the people that surround her, you know, with questions and uh, common problems, it gives also a boost of energy. My intention is uh, absolutely to, to move on with her, to make uh, the steps. So every time she has uh, some new boot camps or some proposal, I am absolutely ready to follow as far as it is in line with what I'm doing. So before, before this process, I was sometimes feeling overwhelmed of a lot of ideas and uh, being my personal emotional involvement in these ideas was much more difficult for me to put them in order. Now, for me, things are very clear. I know what to do and I feel very confident in the fact that every t once day, one day, if I will really want to do this only and to be my only business, I can just push the button and move on. And one big, things, one big thing that uh, proved to me that one big thing, sorry. So one big thing that I understood during the process is that when you are at the beginning, just follow the recipe, have a good mentor and just move on with that. Afterwards, when you start having the first signs of success, then you can innovate and change and try other options. But at the very beginning, it's crucial to follow the system. 